Good evening, Assalamu alaikum and Jule to all friends. This video is in response to a series of unfounded biased and ignorant remarks made by Mr. Stopdan in an interview. One of the points he makes is that the conferring of divisional status to Ladakh is a national security issue. I don't think so. Although I welcome this decision, it has nothing to do with national security. Ladakh is one of the most peaceful and crime free regions in India. There is no presence of fundamental ideology let alone an organization that poses a threat to national security. We are not infested by separatist or extremist movements. He then criticizes the political leadership of Kashmir for pitching for similar concessions for the Chenab Valley and the Pir Panjal and argues that since the two regions don't border with China or Pakistan, and they are therefore ineligible for similar concessions. Administrative divisions are not created on the basis of, of international border, if that was the case, then what about the ten divisions of Madhya Pradesh, the four divisions of Karnataka and the six divisions of Maharashtra, none of which lie on the border? What troubled me the most was the impunity with which he argued that Kargil is not an important place and it has no history. I am here to offer Mr. Stopdan a crash course in history with reference to Kargil, of course. Had he paid attention to his history classes in school, he wouldn't have made these stupid remarks. Kargil, Mr. Stobdan, has been home to several Purik rulers and kingdoms. Gasha, the exiled Buddhist prince, made Kargil an integral part of his kingdom. Kargil was one of the most important stops on the intercontinental Silk Road. General Zorawar Singh, the famed Dogra general, was successful in conquering Baltistan only because of the help of local troops from Kargil. Several foreign travellers have mentioned Kargil in their accounts. The Kargil War in 1999 was an epic military battle of the 21st century. The victory that the Indian forces achieved was made possible because of the contribution from the people of Kargil. They helped the armed forces in the struggle to scale the peaks and regain lost territory. The service that the people of Kargil rendered to the nation are appreciated by the nation in general and the military in particular. The armed forces reiterate the sacrifice by commemorating the Kargil Vijay Devas every year. I hope you visit next time. The love and gratitude the entire country bestowed on Kargil for its unflinching support to the nation and resilience in difficult times have filled the pages of history books. This is just a prelude to the history of this historic city.